Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make pictures, videos, and text transparent. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9, and this effect can be cool if you're doing like a ghost effect or if you want to merge into another video or photo. Let me show you an example that I came up with here. And it involves the green screen. And I also have a tutorial on green screen if you don't know how to use it. But basically, I have this piece of footage here. And I'm going to add visual effects onto it. So I'm going to click visual effects. Go to remove a color. And then drag it on top here. And then I'm going to go head over to the right hand side under remove a color and I'm going to click on the, the little dropper here and then I'm going to click on, hold on, click on the dropper and then click on the green and it's going to remove the green. Now it didn't remove everything so I'm going to go into the tolerance and you can play around as you can see if I made it larger, um, moved it up, it's going to remove it more. And you can play around with the softness. Now this is just like a test here. This wouldn't be like something for my final project, but just an example. So you can see that we've removed the green screen. I'm just going to edit the audio here and turn it down. And then I'll just click play so you can see Arici's moving around. And for the most part, all the green is gone. Now, to get a like the best kind of effect, you need to have really good lighting so that all the green will be removed. So now, what I'm going to do is head back to media. And I have this water that I'm going to put below Arit. Because if I put it above her, it's going to cover the whole thing. Whatever you put on top is the one that covers. So I'm going to put it below. Now depending on the type of effect, you can put it below or above. But for this, I'm going to put it below. I'm going to mute the sound on this water. And you can see that she's got a background now with water. Now to make a transparent effect, you click on the media and then you head over to the right hand area and then you head over to opacity. That means you're going to make it transparent or see through. So I'm going to lower this and you can see that she's already starting to fade away. Now you can do some cool things with this like animations and making people disappear and reappear like through a fading effect. So I'm just going to play it here. So you can see that she's kind of like part of the world. You can also fade out the water if you want. If you don't want it to be that strong, you can fade that out too. But then it goes into black and you can put something behind this water if you want to as well, like a blue effect. So let me just, let's say I wanted to make that water more blue. I'm just playing around here live with you guys. Sorry if my voice is scratchy. I'm kind of struggling to speak right now because I'm getting over a sickness that I just had. But I've just dragged down a shape here. I'm going to extend it. And then let's change the color of this shape. Uh, where are we at here? Move this over. Shape is white. I want the shape to be blue outline to be blue and then now let's make the water a little bit more see-through and see what kind of effect that has oh before before i do that i need to actually extend the shape entirely otherwise it's just going to be like a small square in the middle so now Let's head over to the water and then lessen the opacity. So you can see here now 
I've got like a more strong bluish effect that we have going on here. And it's kind of like, I mean, it, it depends on how you're using the effect, but you can get some really cool things. So Reet looks like she's part of the water right now. And you can do this on anything. So the same thing goes if you have a picture, you can go and insert your picture and then go head over to the right hand side, go to the opacity and lessen or make it greater. And then also with text, you can do that with text as well. So let's say we have some text here and you want to you want to head over to the visual properties because you're playing around with the visual effect. So let's say read and I'm going to really make this font huge so that we can just play around with it. Okay? And then head over to visual properties and then make it lighter. So you can see, you can see that you can do this effect on any type of media and depending on, you know, the kind of thing that you're going on with your project, you can do some really cool effects. So I will probably be playing around with this with one of Arit's next music videos. As you know, I usually find out new things in Camtasia while I'm working on Arit's music videos. So that is how you make any type of media transparent in Camtasia 9. So if you guys are interested in Camtasia, you guys can head down to the description below. I have some links for you guys to check out. And if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want more free tutorials, head down to the description as I have a whole list of free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.